is close to the Formula 1 circuit in Greater Noida is the 2016 JK Tyre Baha Student India and the Formula Student India competition. Recognized as an excellent platform for bright and talented engineering students to learn the real-life applications of their classroom knowledge, this event offers students a chance to showcase their innovative buggies and race cars to experienced global experts from across automotive design, manufacturing and business fields. The JK Tire Baha Student India and Formula Student India Student Design Competitions that focus on engineering designs of all-terrain vehicles and race cars under strict guidelines and limited timelines wherein students are made to emulate a real-life project in any company which gives them a chance to experience a real-life project management. Over the years, the event has grown by leaps and bounds and this year both events rounded up close to 1300 participants across both competitions, 43 teams participating in Baha Student India and 47 teams participating in Formula Students India. When you are talking about automobiles, okay. it's not exactly a new development, it's more like adaptation of the existing technologies or resources what you have. And you have a set rule, set guideline of rules, and basically it's the project management what you can do under a limited resources and limited time frame. For the Baha Student India competition, the brief was simple. The students had to design a light yet robust buggy within the defined parameters and a strict engine specification. A standard Briggs and Stratton 1450 Intech series unit, and after the initial technical inspection and braking test. It was time to put the buggies through a series of point-based challenges. The first was an acceleration test that timed the buggies as they sprinted from standstill to a distance of 30 meters, which was followed by the weight pulling test where each buggy had to pull a Mahindra Scorpio up a slight incline. The vehicle that took the shortest time to complete the task won this challenge. Right from start, we wanted to less, uh, lessen our weight as well as improve our acceleration and gradeability. And we want to improvise our uh, weight distribution from last year. So, and we went for a spool setup that paid off very well this day. The next set of challenges were designed to test the ingenuity and feasibility of the vehicle design. During the maneuverability test, drivers had to carefully negotiate their way throughout a tight and twisty course that included steep inclines, ditches and a banked curve. It was here that some short wheelbase buggies flew through the course and the longer, heavier buggies found themselves grounded in the ditch. Next in line was one of the most crucial tests for both man and machine, the endurance test. The team that covered the maximum laps over the treacherous terrain would eventually win. It was at this stage that many buggies suffered damages and there were innumerable casualties. The working conditions were challenging as well for most of the pit crew as they were covered in dust that was kicked up by the buggies racing on track. Despite this, the students carried on enthusiastically and kept pushing for victory. And after a series of grueling tests, it was time to honour the winner of the 2016 Baha Student India competition. Team Forza Racing of Sihagad Academy of Engineering Pune won the top honours for their ability to fight pressure without a single breakdown through the course of the event. With one set of competition completed, it was time to turn our attention to the 2016 Formula Student India competition, a highly challenging competition where students showcase their abilities to design technically sound, cost-effective race cars and put forth sound business presentations. I think that's so important. Um, they have practical experience which cannot be taught at, at, at universities. First point, it's proper engineering skills that they need directly in industry. But in a second level, it's also the, well, what we call soft skills. Okay. They learn project management without not even knowing that. Because they have, uh, they have a 20, 25 people team and they have to coordinate decisions. They have to make decisions, they have to execute on it. Um, so under the hood they learn project management. It's great practical skills plus all the soft skills um, that are so important in industry. Like they are presenting their, their, their car in front of, you can say a board, like board member presentation. All that, all that stuff is very, very helpful for, for the future career. The thing that I look forward to the most when I come to Formula Student India is 
we see a much better grade of, of engineering and car construction and that's what we really strive for. That's what the design event is all about, is, is teaching young college engineers how to do the job in the best way possible so that they do a very nice, efficient, lightweight design that really performs well on the track. After strict rounds of technical inspections, which included chassis design, tilt, noise and brakes, only nine teams out of 47 managed to make it to the final round, the Endurance Challenge. Teams had to deploy two drivers who'd have to drive their car around a tight and twisty course for 22 laps. The track was modelled to test the design and engineering of these cars. In the end, it was Team Orion Racing of KJ Sumaya from Mumbai who scored the highest in the autocross, efficiency and most importantly, the endurance event which helped them gain the top spot. The runner-up, Team Camber Racing from SRM University got the highest points in business presentation acceleration and skid pad event. Team Raftar Formula Racing of IIT Madras had to settle for third position by pinching crucial points in skid pad, efficiency and endurance events. In the end, the students learned a lot about efficient and effective design. Pat Clark, one of the design judges, in fact, egged the students to come up with even better cars next year. I explained to them that it's really important to have a good uh, pass through of information to the students coming, uh, you know, you don't want the, new, the, the team coming next year making the same mistakes. So they really need to log all their, all their errors and, and mistakes and their experiences and what worked and what didn't work. And that's not just about the car, that's about how do we feed the team, uh, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and, and pass that information along to the team and then they just get better and better and better.